How's it going everyone? Alright, it's really early in the morning. The Tokyo Ghoul Re chapter just came out and half my family is still asleep. So I'm going to try to get this done before I have work today because I want to get this out to you guys. I want to read this chapter and I don't want to wait like all day just to read this chapter while I'm waiting at work. So I really want to get into this chapter. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Ixa13 who's been commenting on my Tokyo Ghoul chapters. It was very nice to talk with you in the comments and I hope that uh, I would continue to talk as I put out more Tokyo Ghoul videos. So I hope you enjoy this live reaction too. We have Tokyo Ghoul Re chapter 109. Its title is called Even the Pen. I don't know what that means. I'm thinking like pen as in like a cage or something, but it could be something completely different than that. So. Let's get right into this chapter, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right, first page. At, want, at what was once an orphanage, we're getting a flashback. Okay, so this is, this is Ure's dad, I guess, going after Donato. Iwa. Okay, so they stabbed Donato to the wall. Looks like he's licking his lips. Okay, so they restrained him, he restrained his arms, and they looks like they put the RC suppressant drugs into him when they captured him. So, chapter 109, even the pen. Page three. Okay. Oh my god, he looks like an angel right there in that chap in that panel right there. That looks cool. Okay, so his uh his uh Kagane is uh kind of dispersing into the atmosphere. The RC suppression drugs are starting to kick in, he's starting to bleed. Kotaro. Oh, Oman's there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, they open the door. Ure squad found a 12-year-old boy in the basement of the orphanage. We will shelter him. Yep, so that's how, the, that's how Oman got discovered. Shit. Okay, so we, now are we going back? Yep, here's Ure. Okay, so his wound is making some noise. He's starting to gurgle, it seems. Screaming. He grabs Ure by the head, and he's dragging him. He's definitely going to be torturing him. He's going to be doing something, because he has to get back. Like, he has this grudge against, like, the people that captured him. And since Ure's dad is basically gone, the next best thing is to, just to torture Ure. So, I really... It's going to be interesting to see what he ends up doing to Ure. Oh, there we go. He's... Oh, shit. He's... Pushing his head through the glass. Damn. Oh, 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 and he's just dragging his face on the glass. It hurts so much that I can't even feel it anymore. He's going numb to the pain. He throws him. Who's that? Whose body did he just throw him onto? Oh, okay. So yeah, that's, that's um, uh, Hige's uncle that got snatched up, so that's who that is, okay. Old man Higemaru, dead. Will I also end up like that? I don't think he will. I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna release his frame in this chapter. We're gonna start to see his evolution as becoming a half-ghoul. Another flashback. Papa, come here. Yeah, he, wow, his dad looks exactly like him. You know, once I grow up, I want to be an investigator, just like you. I look forward to working together with you, Kiko. Father. Donato, the ghoul my father captured. My father went all out to catch that ghoul. Oh, is, here we go. He's... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think I'm going to turn this page and he's going to start releasing the frame and going ape shit. Let's see. Mouth is drooling. Oh, you can still fight. Look at that Kagane. Oh my, I love the cross design on his Kagane. It's so cool. It really just shows like why he was nicknamed and had the code name Priest. This will be a nice little opportunity to put on a show. Ray. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Both of his eyes? Both of his eyes have the Kakuyan. Goodbye. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Kaneki is teamed up with the lab squad. And we have Ayato. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Yep, he was on his train. He had to catch, catch the 12 o'clock train to get here. You're late. We almost left without you. What took you so long? I was taking the train. <laughs> I love that little drawing right there. Him, him with his ghoul mask just with civilians on a train. That is pretty funny. Forget about it. Let's go. Okay, they're dropping down. Where's Takizawa? There. Ah, so you've arrived. He already made his move. <laughs> ah, okay. Yep, they're using the investigators to get in. Nice. I like the disguises they're using. <laughs> the door opened. It did. Thud. Where are the RC suppressants? If they haven't moved them around, they should be in the lab. Oh my god, look at Takizawa. I love the way he's drawn. This... I'm loving this arc so far. This is great. Who's what? Oh, is this um Banjo? Akira. We need to hurry and get some RC suppressants. Okay, so they got their disguises. Let's see how this goes. Places like these remind me of Kano. Good work. We regretted parting ways with you, Roger. To be perfectly honest, I was a bit jealous. He's, she's jealous because she's seen as like a failed experiment compared to Kaneki. Even though we had put our lives on the line and had the surgery, we were treated as failures. Exactly. Because Kano's an asshole. <laughs> but we weren't failures. We got quite impatient when we fought inside the restaurant. A little flashback right there. People who mostly ignore your existence are in no position to assess you. Even if you said that out of pity. Thank you. It's true though. Like You shouldn't have to worry about people that don't even like care about you. Kaneki is definitely spitting out some wisdom right now. Okay. Okay, so they're in the lab. Okay, I can't find them. There should have been loads of reserves here. They might have moved them somewhere else, though. A logbook of a researcher. Looking through. Research facility 4. This must be it. Okay. Okay, now we're back with the clowns. Wh which squad is this? Let's go. Okay. These clowns are just fodder. They're like red shirts. <laughs> Okay, we're on a bridge, it looks like. Okay, we're with Susia squad, okay. Susia. Have you noticed? Yeah. What did they notice? Is it something about the clowns? Or are they actually not ghouls? Okay, he got a knife, throws it. Okay, hits the clown. Juzo's going in for the kill. Cuts him right down his face. Oh, wait. He just cut off the mask. That's... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They, they might just be humans. Yep. Holy shit. Oh, my God. That was... That was... That was... Oh, my God. That's right. So the clowns have been using humans... Sewing their mouths so they can't speak and forcing them to go after CCG. Holy shit. Juzo realized it's a human. Oh, wait, no. That was a Kagane. Sup? <laughs> Is this Uta? We're gonna have Juzo versus Uta. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> we haven't seen each other since the auction. Puppet without master. Oh shit, Uta's on the scene. No face versus CCG's non nonconformist. Let's have some fun. Sounds good to me. Let me draw on your face for you. Nope, because it's no face. That's great. Next issue, the clowns make their move. Oh man. I just gotta take this in for a minute.
So we're having Uta versus Suzia. We haven't seen Uta since the auction. I mean, we've seen him here and there talking with Heise, but we haven't seen him in action since the auction. So this is going to be very interesting because having Juzo versus Uta is something I think a lot of people have been waiting for, especially for this arc. And I know a lot of people were speculating maybe Juzo is going to confront Kaneki or maybe um, Furuto is going to uh, confront Kaneki, but it seems like with this, we have Uta and Juzo, uh, and Juzo about to fight, which I really can't wait to see. But I really hope none of them die because... Death likes have been planted on Juzo. He's been acting quite strange. He seems to be thinking out the situation now because he's the one that even realized that the ghouls that they've been fighting with the clown masks have been humans. And that uh, that is fucked up that the clowns were able to actually snatch humans. They were able to, you know, sew their mouths shut. They were able to kind of like get them to follow them underneath their orders and to have them sort of just be suicide. Um, just like going in on a suicide mission just to attack CCG. And I wonder if these, because it, it seems like when you go back to the panel and like you're looking at um, when the mask gets uh, cut off on the human's face, his mouth is shown shut, but it, you can tell by his eyes that he doesn't want to do what he's doing. He's kind of being forced to do it. So I'm wondering because some of the clans have been able to talk. So does that mean that only a few of them are, are ghouls or and that make majority of them humans? Because I would have to think so for them to have that many numbers within the clowns majority of them would have to be humans and then the ones that were talking were the ones that were actually a part of the clown um group and were just uh, kind of like leading the, these uh fake ghoul humans into battle and if you know if any of them tried to escape or went out of line the ghoul would go in and you know end their life or something like that but so but we also got the flashback with um how Donato got captured by Ure's dad it's very nice to see and you know that's also ties into how Oman got found and you know got uh, brought into the CCG, and then he rose through the ranks there and got raised by the CCG. But now we have uh, Donato's kind of vendetta against um, Ure's family, you know, since uh, he can't go after his dad, he's going after Ure, which is the next thing, putting his head through glass, and he's, he's going to basically be torturing him right now. He's having fun, he's playing with his toy, his new toy that he got, he's really excited, and he wants to really play with it before he, you know, he discards it as like, oh, I'm bored with you now, like, I got what I wanted. But... As we know, Ure is not going to be going down that easily. He's going to be putting up a fight, and it seems just like going... I, mean, I need to go back to that page real quick. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right here. It seems like he's got two cocky gone. Like, he's, both of his eyes turned black. So, does that mean he went full-on ghoul? And this is different because I don't think we've seen um, a person in the Q squad get both eyes. I mean, I have to go back and see if, if, if Shirazu did this when he opened up his frames because it, that's what it seems might be the case here. It's like when you open up your frames as a Q, as a QS member, it seems like you become a full-on ghoul instead of a half ghoul. So I needed to just research, go back to the part with uh, Shirazu and just uh, see what that looks like. And then we just had, you know, the part with Kaneki rejoining the lab group. I mentioned this a few chapters back that he was going to rejoin with this group and eventually we're going to have um, them going after the RC suppressants. But it seems like it's pretty easy for them right now. Like they're don't really have much obstacles in their way. They're able to get in very easily. And uh, they put on their disguises. I love the way Takizawa looks in his disguise. He looks so shocked and out of place. But um, they're looking for the RC suppressants, and it seems like they have the location of where it is. And I really did like the talk that um, you know, that Kaneki had with uh, Kuro here. It's really nice, you know, because they were viewed as failures in the, in the eyes of Kano, who was there. They saw as their dad or their new uh, adopted father in a way. And here you have Kaneki telling him, "It's like no, don't even listen to what Kano has to say. He's a, he's a dirtbag, and no one should listen to him." So this is a very good chapter. I'm going to have a review for this chapter up probably within the next two days or so. So I hope you guys enjoy this chapter. I'm going to get this out before I have work today. So let me know from you guys. What did you like about this chapter? Are you guys hyped for the moment at the very end where we're going to have Juzo versus Uta? I'm really looking forward to that because Uta's been a mystery for a, quite some time. We don't know like if he's good or bad or just neutral. Cause it seems like he's been neutral because he's playing both sides. So I want to hear from you guys. And then look forward to my review coming up in the next two days. And just leave comments down below about what you speculate is going to be happening in these next few chapters. We're going to be getting with Kaneki, with uh, Donato and Ure, and then with um, Juzo Squad going in with Uta. So that's it for this video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you guys love Tokyo Ghoul and want to stay up to date on all the reviews and reactions I'm going to be putting up for this content. I love this series, and I have a few plans. I want to add some part one Tokyo Ghoul content to this channel, so definitely look into the future for that. So until then, I'll talk with you guys all later. All right, guys. See you later.